How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and once again we have a video on factory reset protection because this is my latest craze and I'm loving it. So this right here, this is my Motorola Droid Turbo and we're going to show you how to get around factory reset protection on the device by bypassing the setup wizard basically and getting into settings and a couple more tricks. So that being said, let's do this and we'll thank Motorola along the way. So First thing we're going to do is come in here. I don't have a SIM card in it, so I'm going to use Wi-Fi. And I'm going to hit Next. And I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi very quickly. All right, so I should be connected up there. There we go. And this is where I say thank you to Motorola right here, this privacy policy. So let's hit on Privacy Settings. Let's click on here, View Motorola Privacy Policies. And... Then lastly, let's give Motorola a thank you by selecting anything and hitting the search button. Uh, we love you, Motorola. You're the best. Now, let's go into settings. So how hard is it to go into settings? Not. Let's just type in settings and hit it. And <laughs> look at that. You're in settings. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, man, do I love it. All right, so... Now you want to wipe data factory set from settings to remove factory set protection, right? So you come in here and you can't. You can't do it because it's grayed out. It won't let you it won't let you wipe data factory set from settings when the setup wizard is still running, right? Alright, so that's a big bummer. Well, what you can do, a way to get around that is to come down here, find your build number, tap on it until you are now a developer. Go back, go to developer options, use debugging, our USB debugging, turn that on, go back, and then sit on this screen. We're going to connect this to my computer and one, run one ADB command, basically. Well, I'm going to use a script, and uh, you're actually going to be able to reset after that. So there's a couple things you're going to need to do to get this to run on the Droid Turbo here. Number one is you're going to have to come over here to junkiesdl.com and download the Motorola drivers, which I'll give you a link to, either 34-bit or 32-bit um, or 64-bit, or you can use the device manager. Any of these will get your drivers going. So you're going to have to run that and get it installed. I'm not going to cover the driver side of it. Um, other than that, I'm going to give you another link to a file that I'm going to put on here. It's probably going to be in the Droid Turbo folder. Um, which you're going to want to get. I don't have it up here right now, but it will be linked in the video description. So those two files are what you're going to need. And the second file looks like this one right here. It's going to contain a folder with these files in it. And really what you need to do is just click on that one. So what I'm going to do is uh, hook up my device right now. A little tinkly tink. Let's go here. Plug it in. And when you plug it in, you're probably going to get your drivers installed, and then you're going to get this. Allow USB debugging. Hit Always Allow, and then hit OK. And that means that the computer is going to communicate correctly with the device. Um, also, if you haven't run your driver installed, do that as well. All right. So from here, it's very simple. You just double-click the Motorola Factory Set Protection Bypass. So there it is right there. And you let it run. And you can see what it did to the device. We're done on the computer. That is it. So there you go. You just got around it. It actually shut down the setup wizard. But now you can actually go right in here. And if you want to fully get rid of it, just do a wipe data effect reset and reset the phone, erase all. And then the next time it boots up, you will not have the security warning telling Google telling you to log into the previous Android account. Yes, my device has unlocked Google Alert. It does not matter. That's just this device for test purposes. I have it unlocked. You don't have to have an unlocked Google Alert for this to work. It will totally work without it. So pay no attention to that screen. But you can see right here it's uh, racing again. And when we boot back up, we will have no more uh, security warning on login or startup wizard. And we can go through the startup wizard just like we normally would on a new phone. So there you go, guys. That is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hopefully I'll be doing more soon. But here it is on Motorola. And their Motorola policies is hilarious how easy that was to do. So hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more videos and we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out.